A woman who says she was violently attacked by BART police officers after not paying her fare is now filing a lawsuit. KTVU crime reporter Henry Lee is here now after speaking with the woman and her attorney. Henry. Well, Julie, they tell me this never should have ended the way it did. Her ending up bloodied and battered over not paying for a BART ticket worth a little over $3. So you're being detained for fair evasion. Okay. Yes, you're not free to leave. You're being detained. BART police body cam video show officers confronting Satasia Devro for sneaking behind another person at the exit gate at the Bayfair station in San Leandro. But she doesn't hand over her ID. This is not a debate. This is not a discussion. He is requesting your ID. Why can't I just pay for it? That's not the way this works. And in less than 30 seconds, this happens. Turn around, face the wall. Whoa, whoa, please no, don't no, touch me. No. Stop! Ah! Get off! The officers took her to the ground, leaving her bruised and bloodied with a busted lip. I still don't understand why it um, went to the extent that it went to. On Wednesday, Devro sued Bart and the officers. The incident happened on New Year's Eve 2019 when Devro says she thought Bart rides were free. They know as grown adults what they have done wrong and what they could have done to um, de-escalate the situation instead of escalating it to what happened. It's not seen on the footage, but Devro says officers hit her in the head and side. She says she soiled herself. This is just reprehensible conduct. It's brutish. They know, and I know, that they were as wrong as two left shoes. Attorney Adante Pointer says the officers should have handled it differently. Three on one against a young woman who was half their size, all over $3.50 BART fare. She was charged with resisting arrest, but the criminal case was dropped. In a statement to KTVU, David Mustagny, an attorney representing the BART police union, said the allegations in a lawsuit are just that, and selective images do not accurately convey the totality of the encounter. We are confident the officers will prevail after all the evidence is considered through the judicial process. Now, in a separate statement, BART tells me they take all use of force incidents seriously and are working to make sure that their training and de-escalation tactics exceed industry standards. Julie. Henry Lee reporting live for us tonight. Henry, thanks.